Pregames.com. December 29th, it's the Alamo Bowl from San Antonio going at 6.45 p.m. Eastern time. Oregon State taking on Texas. Oregon State is a two-point favorite as we speak, the total at 56.5. Brian, another underwhelming season for a Texas program who has limitless funding, but here they are again expecting every year. Boosters say this team's got to be in the play, a playoff, I almost said, in the national title hunt, yet here they are 70 miles down the road in a game they just don't care about as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, you're, you're exactly correct here. They've gone bowling 13 out of the last 14 years. They started this season with high expectations after a down year last year. Now they're playing at the Alamo Bowl in their own state. Who's the motivated team here? For me, you know, you know where I'm going to be. Texas, you're in the same state. What's the reward? <laughs> Oregon State, who expected this season from them? I mean, really, coming into the year, you know, the Pac-12 was, you know, all, you know, USC and uh, Oregon, and, you know, nobody talked about Oregon State. And what I like about Oregon State is they don't play – Pac-12 football. They play football kind of like Stanford does, who's had success the last, you know, several years. Is there a more physical team? And, they, you know, we haven't had a video yet. Did we have any snot fly yet on this, <laughs> this session? But, that's they, right. you know, they, they like to do that. And I think that's just what Texas doesn't want because Texas was supposed to be the defensive team of the of the uh, Big 12 this year, and they've been anything but that. Uh, you know, defensively, they've given up, uh, you know, they've had a stretch this year where they had a s six games, 31, 36, 48, 63, 50 points in consecutive weeks. I, I can't trust this Texas team. I I'm looking at how these teams have played against the better teams on their schedule. Oregon State has played against eight bowl-bound teams. Average 434 yards a game, six and two against the spread, five and three straight up. As far as Texas is concerned, five and four in nine games against bowl teams, straight up four and five against the spread. They're gaining 450, but they're allowing over 450 against those teams. So that falls right in line with what you're saying about this Texas defense. You got Cody Vaz, who's going to not probably start this one. They're going to go with Sean Mannion as a starter in all likelihood. But Brian, I think you're going to see Cody Vaz in this one. He just doesn't throw interceptions. And if you're Texas, they just have not been the same since Will Muschamp headed over to Gainesville to take that head coaching job. Yeah. This is your free pick, by the way. This one all comes down to motivation. You've got a Texas team who's used to going to bowls, doesn't want to be here. You've got an Oregon State team off a three and nine season. They've done very well in the bowls. They won five out of the last six times. I've gone bowling straight up. Take a look at the losses that Oregon State has had this year. They lose to Oregon at Stanford by four points and at Washington by three points in a game they had a negative three turnover differential. This is a good football team in Oregon State, and that's the reason why they're favored in this game. Texas, I don't believe, wants to be here. Oregon State has all the motivation. I think this is a cheap number here at Oregon State. We're going to play Oregon State as a big play for us this week. Well, this is Marco D'Angelo and my last show of the year, last videos of the year. But Brian Leonard uh, will be sitting in December 29th. He'll be shooting some more videos. Be sure to check back late afternoon, early evening for those to be posted at pregame.com. Have a great and safe New Year's Eve. By the way, do you know December 31st is my birthday? Just, you know, put it out there. I used to think everybody was celebrating my, celebrating my birthday when I was five years old. But uh, I was going to buy you a present, but the end of the world's coming. Oh, that's right. So I figured, we might not be here. Why waste it? <laughs> Wow. Get your paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, join Brian uh, on December 29th for more videos. We'll talk to you again after the first of the year. Have a great one from those of us at pregame.tv.